Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I have another project share for you. This time I made a bunch of 12 by 12 layouts using various papers from my All Seasons 3 pad that I am working on. I did make three layouts for you a few weeks ago on video, but I've made 10 others in, to you know, in total out of this pad also, so I just wanted to do a quick share of those. And I started out, the very first ones I did were Halloween, and I didn't have a ton of Halloween patterns left. And I knew that what I did have left, I wanted to do some pages out of as well as some cards. So I kind of just used some of the scraps that I had to make these layouts. And on this particular one, I did use a sketch. It's from Split Coast Stampers, Sketch 15 May 1. I will link that in the description box below in case you're interested in finding that one. And I just, it called for a circle, so I just had a scrap that I cut down into a circle here and then used some strips that I had in my, you know, that were left. Just used those up. And then this black zigzag or chevron strip was in my stash. I have a drawer full of like border pieces like that. And <clears throat> that particular strip came from something similar to one of these packs. I don't know if anybody remembers this from a long time ago where you could just get different color combinations of borders and squares and different mat pieces and all that. So this is actually on my desk because my daughters were using it. So I still have a bunch of those and <clears throat> decided to pull one out and use that there rather than create another little piece or use some brick rack. And then my title came from my silhouette. I just printed out Halloween party and kind of a block outline letter and then colored it in with one of my orange markers. These glitter stickers here are from the Dollar Tree and I, I believe it's like one sheet to a pack but it had like this combination of stickers on there. And then the jack-o'-lanterns word sticker came from this sheet and it's leaving prints, words, stickers, and leaving prints was a direct sales scrapbooking paper crafting supply company that was around a long time ago. I want to say it was like 2001 ish was when I started with them and I sold you know their stuff for a little bit and then have a bunch left because they are no longer but I have a bunch of like embellishments like this left as well as some papers that I've been trying to use up. So that's where that one came from. And then I did another layout. Normally when I do layouts of the same event like I, have, I do them in multiples like one for my album one for each of my daughter's albums normally if I'm doing multiples I try to do the same layout just make it you know several times so that I'm not reinventing the wheel but in this case I didn't have enough of the paper to make two like I think I started with this one and I didn't have enough paper to make two so that's why I did two different layouts for the same photos and this one I used another sketch it doesn't have a name but again I will link that below. So again, used my silhouette to print out my title and I colored that in. Have some more of the Dollar Tree. They're like glittery foam stickers. This candy sticker, I'm not really sure. It's kind of, it's dimensional. It kind of got some layers to it. I'm not sure where it came from. It was on my own in my stash. So I decided to use that up since it fit in with all the candy on the paper behind it. And there's that one. The rest of them are like summer, most of the rest of them are summertime related. There was this playground themed patterned paper. It was very busy and I was struggling to find a good way to use it. And I happened to find a sketch for the number of photos that I had and it had this where it was the, a square of the, I could use a square of the patterned paper kind of behind all the pictures, which worked out well because then I, like, at least I was hiding a good portion of it and then I just didn't add any embellishments to this page because there was already so much going on. But once I cut down my square and was kind of figuring out placement for my pictures, I realized that this little grouping of words, Playground Fun Time, was kind of already accented. So I decided to go ahead and use that as my title for this page. And then I don't know if you can tell, but I just took a thin marker and did like a small, like a thin stitched line to outline it and then went around it again with a thicker marker to kind of add a double outline to it just to kind of emphasize it a little more. 
And then after I added my journaling down here too, I realized this fun time was kind of showing. So since I wasn't adding any embellishments to this page, I decided to outline the fun time to kind of draw emphasis to there as well. So then for this green piece up here, I decided that it needed, my photo needed something else. So rather than double mat it, I just used a black marker and just did a stitching outline around there as well. And then also pulled the stitching in here on this little flag that has my date. So kind of a, an idea for you guys, for those, those papers, we all have them where we're just not sure how to use them because maybe they're too busy or not a pattern that we normally go for. But if we still are wanting to use it up, then you can kind of just like in this case, it got covered enough that it made me, it made it not quite so busy. So I was able to cover a lot of it, but then also emphasize some of it as well. And I have two of those, one for each of my girls. So this is using the same pattern paper, except for I just took a one full sheet of that pattern and cut up all the images so that I am using them as embellishments instead of as a background paper. So here again, I'm using the Playground Fun Time as my title, except for the fact this time I just cut it out. And interesting enough, these are both from the same summer. So looking at them, I might be able to actually kind of make them an unrelated two page spread somehow. I don't know. It's either that or I'm going to have to separate them in my album so that as we're looking back through them someday, we're like, oh, hey, she used the same pattern paper on like all those layouts. So anyway, use that as my title again, and then just fussy cut out, you know, all the other images. There was a merry-go-round and actual, the words merry-go-round. So I grouped those together and then just kind of grouped the trees with some of the other images. And I didn't use a sketch for this one. I was just trying to kind of group my photos in a grid format so that they would all fit on the page since there were two vertical and two horizontal. And the hearts all were fussy cut out of that paper as well. So I have that. I have a total of three of those layouts, one for each of our albums. And then here is another summer one. And this one was just loved. I loved the sun paper and wanted to use it as my background and decided that I didn't want to cover up the center of the sun. So I took my two photos and kind of put them at an angle to each other just so you could still see the sun behind it. And I did not use a sketch for this one either. I did get to use some embellishments on this one since it wasn't quite as busy. I have this fan, this mini paper fan up here, and that is from the Summer Dreams mini paper fans from Echo Park. And then I have some other, like three other chipboard pieces that came from the Good Day Sunshine chipboard phrases from Echo Park as well. So I was excited to actually got to use some summer embellishments. And so I kind of took my color cues from like the orange fan and then the navy chipboard pieces and knew I wanted to kind of pull that down, kind of balance out the colors on the page. So I just pulled some orange and navy cardstock from my stash and just add layered those at the bottom to kind of pull the colors down. And then I also added this little sunburst that I cut. I punched a circle and just kind of cut out some little wedges to make it look kind of sunbursty and added my date. And the last, I saved the busiest layouts for the last. Like there is a whole lot going on on this page. And at this point, I think this was the last set of layouts I did. And I really just wanted to use up more of the paper. Like, yeah, because I'm worried about using like some of these bigger patterns. On, I'm already stressing about making cards, <laughs> trying to come up with ways to use these busy patterns on cards as well. So I had this sketch and normally on the sketch, like you would have either cardstock as your background and maybe a pattern strip here across the middle, or it would be a pattern in the background and a cardstock strip across the middle. But oh no, I went pattern all the way. Yeah. Um, like I said, I was, I wanted to, to use them both. I thought they were both cute and then just decided I want to try and use up as much as I could. So I did try and break up the patterns here. I have like a double border with the pink and white trying to break it up and then also wanted to break up the pattern in the middle and emphasize my photos so I double matted my photos on some white and pink 
And then this green strip was actually left from the Christmas cards that I had made before. And so just added that at the bottom just to kind of add a little bit more color there and pull the green in. The only embellishment I added to the whole page was this white umbrella. And I cut that from my silhouette and just did it in white because I didn't want to, I don't know, I... The only other color I probably would have done it in would be the green and I just felt that was going to be too much. So I just left it white, decided to use that as my title as well. So I just took my, one of my, my black markers, wrote dancing in the rain and then decided that I did need a little something else, like a little subtle, subtle pattern. And I think I've told you guys before, my daughter's craft on the other half of this table, like on the other side. And like right now there's stuff everywhere, like all their supplies are just laying across the table. And I was trying to come up with what I wanted to do. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I could do some pink polka dots, but none of my pink markers matched. Well, they happen to have a pink pip, pip squeak Crayola marker laying on the table. And so I was like, awesome. It looked like it would match and it did. So that's what I just, just did dots with the pink pip squeak marker and use that to kind of dress up my umbrella a little bit. So as frustrated as I get with all the stuff that they leave on the other side of their table sometimes, like several times so far this summer, it's actually helped me on whatever project I was working on. So, so there's my umbrella and then I just added my journaling around that. And then the only other thing I did was add the flags down here. That was also part of the sketch. So I got two of these super busy rain boot umbrella pages that I did use up a good chunk of that paper. So that excites me. So hopefully that gave you guys some ideas on how to use up not just some of the paper from your stash, but some of that busier paper that you might not know how to use or might not normally use. And also a way, you know, to use up some of the scraps that you have on scrapbook pages. You don't always need a full sheet to make a scrapbook page. So hopefully you guys got some ideas, inspiration out of these. I'm happy because that's 10 scrapbook pages now that I've got to go into our albums. That was a good chunk of pictures that I was able to get out of the box and into my albums. Some of these were from 2012, so that kind of helps me with one of my crafty goals, but I think the rest were 2013, so. But still, happy to get them out of the box and into my albums. But hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I said, I will leave links to the sketches below in the description box. And I will also link my Pinterest board that has all of my card, my uh, page sketches in it. And they are separated by number of photos because that's how I tend to search for a page sketch. So I will leave that link down below. And if there are any products that I can find links to that I used, the few products that I used, I will link those down below for you as well. Otherwise, let me know if you have any questions on anything. Thanks for your time today. If you haven't already, please do subscribe because there are more ideas to come. I mean, from this pad, because I've got tons of paper left to use, but also from other pads as well, trying to give you guys some ideas, inspiration on how to use up some of that paper in your stash. But as always, I hope you guys have a crafty rest of your day.